Hello everyone and welcome to Fresno Pacific University's commencement ceremony. I have a few brief but important announcements to share before we begin. Our ceremony will begin promptly in 15 minutes from now. Please be courteous to those around you by silencing all cell phones and any other electronic devices. As you take photographs of the ceremony, please do so from your seat. A professional photographer will take pictures of each graduate as they cross the stage. Today's ceremony is being translated into Spanish. Translation devices are available for use and can be picked up on the East Concourse. If you are on social media and would like to contribute to today's commencement celebration, we invite you to do so by using hashtag FPUGrad. Again, that's hashtag FPUGrad. The FPU production team will be live streaming today's ceremony. Friends and family can watch the ceremony this morning by visiting fpu.edu slash commencement. The recording of the ceremony will also be available for viewing later on our website. Please feel free to share this information with friends and family who are unable to join you today. Thank you so much for celebrating with our graduates today. The ceremony will begin shortly. Muy buenos días y bienvenidos a la ceremonia de graduación de Fresno Pacific University. Antes de comenzar, quisiera comunicarles unos anuncios breves e importantes. Nuestra ceremonia comenzará dentro de 15 minutos. Como cortesía a los que le acompañan, por favor, Pongan en silencio sus teléfonos y cualquier otro dispositivo electrónico. Si desean tomar fotografías de la ceremonia, por favor háganlo desde sus asientos. Un fotógrafo profesional tomará fotos de cada alumno a medida que vaya pasando por el escenario. La ceremonia de hoy será traducida al español. Tenemos aparatos de traducción que pueden ser recogidos en la entrada este. Si desean sumarse a los festejos de la ceremonia de hoy por medio de las redes sociales, Les invitamos a que lo hagan utilizando la etiqueta o hashtag FPUGrad. Una vez más, la etiqueta es FPUGrad. El equipo de producción de FPU estará transmitiendo la ceremonia en vivo. Tanto los amigos como los familiares podrán ver la ceremonia de hoy visitando la página fpu.edu barra commencement. La grabación de la ceremonia también estará disponible más adelante en nuestro sitio web. Por favor, no duden en compartir esta información con aquellos amigos y familiares que no hayan podido acompañarlos hoy. Muchas gracias por haber venido a celebrar con nuestros graduados. La ceremonia comenzará en unos momentos.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023. So please be seated. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and welcome again to the spring 2023 coronation, excuse me, commencement ceremony of Fresno Pacific University. On behalf of the Fresno Pacific University Board of Trustees, I welcome you to this commencement service and congratulations again to the class of 2023. Today, we celebrate the achievements of our graduates in the schools of business, education, humanities, religion, social science, natural sciences, and the biblical seminary. In the classrooms and in the Zoom rooms, on the main campus in Bakersfield, Visalia, in North Fresno, and Merced, both undergraduate and graduate students, I also want to recognize those graduates who are unable to be here this morning, but who are joining us through our live stream. I'm especially grateful for our graduates here who have done some of their education work during the global pandemic. Your unwavering dedication and approach to your education these past, past few years has demonstrated your resilience. You have overcome, you have persevered, you have remained vigilant and steadfast amidst the twists and turns of the last couple of years, and we're grateful. We celebrate you today, and I wanna take a moment to recognize and celebrate those in the audience who helped you to make this day possible. We know that you could not have made it here alone there are no great milestones achieved without somebody who has journeyed with you. And again, we wanna thank them. So first of all, are there any parents in the audience today? Parents, if you're able to stand, let's give you a hand. Are there any siblings in the house? Any siblings? And if you're able, any grandparents in the house? Then. And finally, do we have any spouses or children of our graduates? For those of you who are here as family and supporters, thank you again for your sacrifice and support to help make your student achieve this significant milestone. May today be a meaningful and celebration and for years to come, show the fruit of a life transformed by grace and rooted in love by the experience here at FPU. I also represent an amazing and grateful community of supporters who have invested in your education. And I'd like to thank our amazing staff. As you know, it takes a tremendous amount of energy, coordination, thought to transform this arena into a beautiful commencement ceremony. So let's applaud our staff. I'd also like to acknowledge our marvelous, brilliant, and dedicated faculty who have walked alongside you on your academic journey. Students, you know them. They've gotten to know you. They have invested in your lives. They have sacrificially poured into you and prepared you for your field of influence. They have given you knowledge, but more than that, we hope that you have obtained wisdom to meet the demands of this complex and anxious age. They love you deeply and will continue to pray for you along life's journey. 
These are scholars and mentors and advisors and practitioners and women and men who have breathed life into your very dreams. I first want to acknowledge those faculty who are retiring from FPU this year. Would you please stand? Retiring faculty, we want to acknowledge you. And would all of our faculty please stand? We want to acknowledge you. Thank you, thank you. Students, again, uh, we are here to honor you. And I want to just call out uh, some students who this is, uh, well, for all of you, it's a special day. Uh, but for those of you who are a first generation student, this is, you're the first in your family to receive a degree. Would you please stand? We want to acknowledge our first gen students. Thank you. No. If you're an international student graduating this morning, would you please stand? If you're an international student, we want to acknowledge you. We also want to recognize those who have served or are actively serving in our armed forces. Would you please stand so we can recognize you? You will also notice that we are a multi-ethnic and multicultural community. We honor and display our diversity of our student population by wearing of our ethnic sashes, which represent a student's culture and ethnicity. Would you please stand as well? Yeah. That's great. Some of our graduates are also wearing golden medallions. Many of you are supporting FPU through the gift that you made in honor of your graduation. The medallion recognizes you as a donor to the university. If you're wearing a medallion, would you please stand? Fresno Pacific would not exist without the generous support of individuals and alumni and friends like you. Graduates, you have worked hard to make it to today. You have made us proud. We are better because you have been with, with us here. We have been strengthened because of you. Each of you has a story to tell, and we pray that all that has been good at FPU, those things that are of God, will be taken with you in your lives ahead. Indeed, FPU's mission is to prepare students for faithful and wise service through excellence in Christian higher education. Our aim is to strengthen the church and improve society through scholarship and service. As you go forward, I pray that God will continue to use each of you to bring his truth, his beauty, and his goodness into your families, churches, workplaces, and neighborhoods. Congratulations again, and go Sunbirds. Dr. Rod Jansen, professor of history, will lead us in the invocation. And right afterward, Ms. Mrs. Denise Baronian, executive director of our regional enrollment, will read scripture. So please stand, and gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please uh, join me in the invocation. God, this morning we gather in this community to celebrate the academic achievements of hundreds of our students. Here at Fresno Pacific, we emphasize the central role that Christian faith, the teachings of Jesus, plays in all areas of study. Much time and effort has been expended in mind-expanding conversations and in the completion of different kinds of assignments, all to deepen knowledge and broaden understanding. We ask God now for your blessing on the lives of all of our students as they move forward 
taking on important professional or other responsibilities, and we pray that in doing so, they will maintain connection to communities of faith that will help sustain them. In the name of Jesus, amen. Good morning. Our scripture reading today comes from Matthew 19, verses 16 through 26. Just then, a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to earn eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones, he inquired. Jesus replied, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, and you shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. All of these I have kept, the young man said. What do I still lack? Jesus answered, if you want to be perfect, go, sell your possessions, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Then Jesus said to his disciples, truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, and they asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Please be seated.
Thank you, Dr. Wilson and choir. Well, we're in for a treat this morning. Our commencement speaker, Mayor Lynn Ashbeck from Clovis, currently serving in her 22nd year on the Clovis City Council, third term as mayor of the city of Clovis. She approaches her role in local government as a mission of service, of seeking common ground, and a mission to build community through civic engagement of neighbors around shared interests. Prior to her election to the city council in 2001, Mayor Lynn served 12 volunteer years on the Clovis Planning Commission. As a champion for local government that is judged by outcomes rather than partisan points of view, simply being present and leading for the common good improves the quality of decision making and relies on her deep held belief that a focus on the common good is, as described by many theologians, the highest expression of faith. Local government in Clovis is not a full-time job for its elected leaders. Lynn is, is the senior vice president and community impact officer for Valley Children's Healthcare. In her role, Lynn leads efforts designed to improve the health outcomes of children in their neighborhoods, schools, and community. Or put simply, keeping kids well where they live, learn, and play. Among the many leadership roles that Lynn has taken in the community over the years, we at FPU are most grateful for Lynn's service as a trustee from 2008 to 2014. Lynn was also the first program director for what is now our bachelor's degree program in healthcare administration. Perhaps most notably for this occasion today, Lynn is a grateful FPU alumna who says, quote, FPU changed my life. FPU's gifts to me are fundamental, fundamental to my life. They have deepened my faith, provided a strong foundation in peacemaking, refined my skill sets to find common ground, and through example, allowed me to hear more deeply the voices of others. That is the power of FPU and the gifts I carry with me every day. Mayor Lynn earned her master's degree in peacemaking and conflict studies as a Sunbird and has been honored as one of our distinguished alumni in 2019. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Lynn as our spring 2023 commencement speaker. Good morning, graduates. I, I forgot that graduations make me cry, so I'm gonna try to, try to get through this. Uh, thank you, President Stevens. I want you all to know that I sent him an introduction that just simply said, just say, here's Lynn, but obviously he didn't get that email. Uh, but Dr. Stevens, uh, it is an incredible blessing to have you and your family as part of our Fresno Clovis community. And since I'm here, we're gonna call it the Clovis Fresno community this morning. Uh, President Stevens, board members, faculty, families, friends, the FPU community, and most of all, the graduates. You made it. Give yourself another round of applause. And make sure you just take a moment, breathe, look around, take in this moment. So often in our lives when we're anxious to get to a spot, we forget to appreciate the moment. So um, take a look around. You probably all have never been together like this. You did experience uh, college education through COVID. So here you all are together. You likely will never be exactly this way again. So I don't want you to miss a single thing, especially my speech. As someone up here I'll, who remained nameless said, you won't remember anything I say. So whether you remembered or not, I'm really honored to be here. So congratulations to each of you and to every person whose support helped you along the way. They, s yes, definitely for those people again. They say that commencement addre addresses can be a little tricky. I am not particularly funny. I'm certainly not famous, but I am at this moment on this platform, the last thing standing between you and your degree. So let me get on with it. As you heard from Dr. Stevens, I am a sunbird. What was not, what was not said, but that I hope you could tell 
is that I love this university and I love the values that define the FPU community. I aspire them to live, to live them every single day. And as I look back over my life, there are single moments that had a profound impact on the journey that I have taken so far. And my time at FPU is certainly one of those. And I hope that will be the case for you too. Life is not about finding yourself, said playwright George Bernard Shaw. It's about creating yourself. Each of you came to FPU for different reasons on very different paths. Regardless of the reasons, or the seasons of your life, or the road traveled, or whether the road was a straight line from high school or a long and winding road through hills and valleys, this unique intersection of your personal goals, support from others, and sustained intentional action over time has fueled the trajectory to today's milestone, the completion of your degree. And those same elements, goals, support, and intention will continue to propel you to whatever lies ahead next. Today's remarks, as I've already said, will not be funny, definitely not wise, another really high expectation of commencement addresses, but they will be personal because FPU is personal to me. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to read you your diploma. I'm kidding. The thing that I'm right in front of, not the words on it exactly, but what is between the lines of your diploma? What I hope you can see between the lines, between the parts that talk about the degree and the courses of study and the parts and rights and privileges and all of that. I'm gonna read between those lines and share the most enduring gifts of FPU beyond the degree itself that have proven most valuable to me over time. And I'm not sure I saw them when I was sitting in your seat some years ago, but I certainly see them today. So it's my hope that my words may give you the words to reflect on the gifts you are leaving this institution with beyond the value of the degree, which is immense, but rather from the simple presence of FPU in your life. To borrow a phrase from Adelaide Stevenson, when you leave here, don't forget why you came. And I'll add, and don't forget what you are taking with you. The FPU idea, the source of those gifts we cannot always see, is a grounding force. It is consistent and certain and timeless, a dependable and incredibly practical guide in what can be an unspiritual and at times a seemingly unfriendly world. The gift of the FPU idea that accompanies your degree, accompanies your degree today, excuse me, that is now of you, in the most profound sense, is both noble and utilitarian. It is a privilege you have received, a responsibility you take with you, a sacred calling at one level to model the lessons learned here as you act out there. So between the lines and my own diploma, it's hanging in my office, I took a peek at it as I was thinking about this this morning, what did I find? First. We leave here with the gift of humility. Learning requires humility, and the world needs a healthy dose of that. Learning about peacemaking here through the lenses of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Gandhi, and others taught me, much later in my career in life than many of you, to acknowledge what I knew, and most importantly, what I did not. To be curious and open about the unknown. As we delved into the lessons of unconventional peacemakers like Dorothy Day and Leo Tolstoy and Dietrich Bonhoeffer, whose social actions driven by their faiths changed their times and still inform ours, their experiences became very personal frames of reference that I call on every single day. Their previously unknown, to me anyway, lives became present in mine. And the lives of those I thought I knew, that I was certain I knew, took on a deeper meaning. And more than what I learned about them is what I learned from them. The revelation that others could help us learn and discover ourselves in new and powerful ways if we are open and humble. Back to my diploma, there's something about the importance to act. 
Our faith requires us to be actors, not just talkers, living out our faith in real time. James 2.18 reads in part, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds and I will show you my faith by my deeds. Often ascribed to St. Francis, these words, preach often, use words sometimes, admonishes us to do, to do what is necessary, then what's possible, and suddenly we may, doing, may, we may be doing the impossible. Between the lines is also the idea that to elevate our communities, really to elevate humanity, we must not lose sight of the common good. At the core of nearly every faith tradition is that idea of the common good. Perhaps a fourth century church leader said it best, this is the rule of the most perfect Christianity in its most exact definition, its highest point, namely the seeking of the common good. For nothing can so make a person an imitator of Christ as caring for his neighbors. Philippians 2.4 says, instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out what is better for others. In my experience, FPU nurtures generous souls with servant hearts who are perfectly suited and desperately needed to transform our communities, neighborhoods, countries with a commitment to the greater good. Generosity paired with grace are very special gifts today when even small acts of generosity can have such significant impacts, especially in this time when self-interest is so often the driving force behind almost everything. Generosity of spirit is one of the greatest gifts of FPU, one that will distinguish you wherever you go. There are plenty more words on the diploma, but there's still more reading to do between the lines. And one of those lessons is to, to be mindful of the impact of the words that we choose in the public spaces we will find ourselves. Colossians 4, 6 says, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer each person. James 1.19 calls on us to be people who are quick to listen and slow to speak. Hopefully we can all become people, as James goes on to say, with the wisdom that comes from heaven that is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. And finally, between the lines, is a lesson about peace. In this world full of conflict, every day, everywhere, every headline, peaceful hearts are bold weapons for good. We are all thankful that the gift of peace is present in the heart and soul of FPU and in the heart and soul of every one of you. So, you didn't know your diploma was gonna say all of that. Humility, the call to learning and to be fearlessly curious, acting on your faith, not just talking about it, a generous spirit, a commitment to the common good, the fair and just use of words, and a commitment to peace in your hearts, in your families, and in your communities are the enduring gifts found in you and found somewhere between the lines on your diploma. These are some of the most meaningful contribu contributors to a life well-lived, gifts from FPU that help define you today and that you now have the power and the calling and the privilege to contribute to the larger world wherever that may take you. We are told in Hebrews that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And my hope for you and my faith in you is that you will accomplish your dreams. And in those times when you may not, that you will rely on your faith to help you see new dreams emerge and new doors open using all of the gifts of FPU, both those on your diploma and those that are found between the lines. The needs in the world you are entering are great. Your skills are many. Your faith, heart, and commitment are profound. As I look out in this arena, 
trying not to cry. At least in this moment, we are not a random gathering of people or some impersonal virtual chat room, but rather a convocation, a short-term version of the communities we each live in, where we work and serve and play and pray, whether that be here or there or halfway around the world. And regardless of where your community might be, we can all be assured of one thing, that despite our similarities and despite our differences, we all share one common trait, and that is our imperfect humanity. Let us close together in prayer. Dear God, we ask that you guide our graduates with the blessing of wisdom, good judgment, and courage as they go forth helping to realize a more holy and peaceful place where grace and kindness flourish in their hearts and can grow in our collective community. Let them be living examples that wherever they are present, the gifts of FPU are present. And wherever these graduates find themselves, the commitment to the common good will not be uncommon there. Amen. Congratulations, graduates. Wishing you good health and good fortune. And may the grace of God and peace be with you. Thank you. Let's stand. Let's stand. You'll find everyone stand, please. Find in your programs on the inside of the front cover, May the Mind of Christ. Let's sing this together. Thank you, Mayor Ashbeck, for your challenging and inspiring words. So commencement is a time when we acknowledge the outstanding work of a member of our faculty, as well as the academic performance of members of the graduating class. And in addition, our semer seminary vice president and dean will pre present the seminary service award to one of our community partners. First, the Nickel Excellence in Teaching Award was established in 2004 to recognize and honor professors who exhibited consistent excellence in educating Fresno Pacific students in the university's traditional undergraduate programs. Recipients are nominated by junior and senior students 
who reflect on those professors who have had lasting impact on their lives. The following student responses are in relation to this year's recipient. This professor teaches thoroughly and is compassionate for students' needs to ensure that they succeed in reaching their goals. Also, this faculty member gives helpful advice and is a resource to many students who are in need of help and guidance through their academics. Another, as a caring and thoughtful mentor, there is always time for students. And, this professor pushed me and others to excel in our learning adventure in the most patient, understanding, and thorough way. She, the first hint, never hesitates to understand our struggles all while living a steadfast Christian life. This year's recipient of the Nickel Excellence in Teaching Award is Sonia Pranger. Assistant Professor of Social Work. Sonia, would you please stand? Please join me in congratulating Sonia Pranger for her outstanding work in the classroom and beyond. Our first award goes to the student with the highest ranking grade point average in the traditional baccalaureate graduating class. This level of academic performance is very difficult to maintain since every student must take classes from a broad range of disciplines. It is with great pleasure that we present three students this year with the award. Anastasia Barakoyabena, a graduate in kinesiology, pre-physical therapy, and occupational therapy. Rosemary Chapman, a graduate in kinesiology, pre-physical therapy, and occupational therapy. And Jeffrey McFetridge, a graduate in mathematics. Congratulations to Anastasia, Rosemary, and Jeffrey on receiving this high academic honor. Will you please stand? The university faculty take great pride in recognizing students in the graduating class who reflect the highest ideals of the university and who have excelled in their studies. This morning, I am honored to present the Harold H. Hack Academic Achievement Award to a member of the university's Alpha Chi Honor Society. This person has made a significant contribution to the university, community, and church, and shows a promise for future success. Mrs. Betty Hock and the family of the late president, Dr. Harold Hock, have graciously provided a gift to honor an outstanding graduate each year. The Harold H. Hawk Academic Achievement Award this year goes to Magdalena Wenger, a double major in intercultural studies and biology. Magdalena, will you please stand? Congratulations. Every year, the seminary, oh, I, hello, I'm Sharon Tan. I'm Dean of the Fresno Pacific Biblical Seminary. Every year we award uh, an award to the, um, an outstanding member of the community that we have seen to provide a significant service to God, the, the church, or the community, and this year, the award goes to the Garage Church. The gar Are there representatives of the Garage Church here? 
if you go to the garage church, you may stand and wave. A lot of our members go to the garage church, which is a multi-ethnic, multi-generational, multicultural church that is doing significantly innovative uh, service to the community. Thank you. Fresno Pacific University is a Christian university known for academic excellence, innovative programming, and spiritual vitality. Students from throughout the San Joaquin Valley, across America, and around the world attend Fresno Pacific. The mission of the university is to develop students to engage the cultures and serve the cities through excellence in Christian higher education. The Board of Trustees of Fresno Pacific University has the responsibility of ensuring the university effectively pursues its mission. It is a real honor and an enormous responsibility to serve as the chair of the Board of Trustees, and I would like to thank all the board members for their faithful service to Fresno Pacific University. Graduates, I would like to extend my congratulations on behalf of the Board of Trustees for this major milestone in your life. We pray that God will continue to lead and bless you as you pursue your goals. Congratulations, class of 2023. the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science please stand. President Stevens. <laughs> President Stevens, upon the completion of their course of study and upon the recommendation of the faculty of Fresno Pacific University, I am pleased to present these women and men for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science. Their studies in liberal arts, sciences, and professions have prepared them for careers and leadership in their chosen professions, in their communities, and in their churches. They are prepared to serve both God and humanity in this world. Thank you, Provost Hughes. By virtue of the authority vested in me as president by the Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the faculty who have taught you, evaluated you, and modeled the Christian faith for you, I confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science as appropriate to your program of study with all its privileges and obligations. Joining me in welcoming the graduates as they receive their diplomas will be Mr. Joshua Wilson, board chair. Graduates, please be seated. Mr. President, Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Business. Adriana Gabriela Acosta. Nestor Leva.
Matthew Paul Amador. There we go. <laughs> Deborah Garnum. Carino Mello. Amy Kane. Myra Elizabeth Salinas. Rocio Ramos. Melinda M. Morales. Angela Isabella Avila. Tiffany Dawn Ramirez. Ashley Monique Rivera. Wilbert Banam Barcoma. Ruben Charles Polly. Tatum Joy Benson. Chelsea Nicole Heaton. Annalisa A. Argenzano. Lauren Nicole Farrar. Alexis Johnson. Chloe Miles. Leah Falten. Gabriel Montiero. Jason Ayala. Irelda Alacron Ayan. Navrup Kor Pada. Catherine Rose Lamb. Iona Baya. Signe Olivia Copeland Cruz. Crystal M. Diaz. Shania Renee Burrell. Adeline Esmeralda Garcia. Daniel Castaneos. Carrie McCrane. Mitchell Couch. Esteban Romero. Martin Maid. Grant Allen High Street. Brett Michael Lamborghi. Lindsay L. Moody. Sarah Lundquist. Felicia Dobra. Danielle Putter. Catherine Grace Spees.
Mitchell Robo Silvas. Jared Salvador Aguilar. Devin Lee. Asia Forero. Odalis Guadalupe Cardona Rivera. Vincent Trevino the third. John Angelo Gonzalez. Idma Mesa. Gil Rodriguez. Brandon Ian Montalango. Ana Briones. Jolene Cynthia Thornton. Jasmine Hazel Delgado. Tawana Butler. Rodolfo Quiroz. Alfred Mata Jr. Jasmine Davis. Monica Baez. Jennifer Irene Davis. Melanie Marcella. Lizette Gabriela de la Cruz. Magda Solis. Cambry Christine Barcelos. Crystal Campos. Antonia Moya Jr. Christy Ann Long Woodruff. Brenda Martinez. Maricela Maciel. Araceli Karina Rodriguez Perez. Nestor Leva. <laughs> Adriana Gabriela Acosta. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Business. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Education. Anna Ovella. Maria D. Salazar. Sarah Leda Calderon. Gabriela Hernandez. Edith Gonzalez. Natalie Hernandez. Cecilia Sosedo. Esbidi Loretta Arayo. 
Rihanna Ashley Cisneros. Graciela Cortez Casas. Ariana Cervantes. Jody Faye Driver. Monica Ibarra. Claire Marie Santi. Yesenia Zulet Gariegos. Alfredo Resendez. Tyler James Canteros. Gracie Louise Martinez. Monica Alvarado. Karen Jimenez. Kaylee Sue Mora. Crystal Monique Perez. Maria Cavazos. Alma Guzman Afrado. Jacqueline Castaneda de Vergos. Viri Diana Orozco. Martina Garcia. Michaela Danielle Perner. Sky Fernandez. Savannah Monique Sanchez. Suzanne DeGroat. Julie Noel Conley. Christina Lara Cromer. Francis Cano. Siobhan Renee Roach. Francisco Andrade Sabaros. Destiny Nicole Arunas. Marisa Lua. Rebecca Wyatt. Vivian A. Jones. Maria Magdalena Perez Roca. Jessica Leslie Munoz. Angeline Veronica Paredes. Laura Lugo. Alejandra Gaza Brown. Andrea Patricia Ward. Year Yang. Jennifer Marie Segola. Arlene Desiree Gonzalez.
Rachel Burri Desarios. Lashana Anise Vaughn. Jessica I. Fertillo. Ziamar Larios Flores. Veronica Dominguez. Heather Ann Douglas. Sarah Samai Manharios. Jessica Brianna Valtiria. Joelle Lene Briggs. Carrie Denise Cook. Maria Magdalena Budi Christiana Ahania. Sorry about that. Marcella Villarreal. Adarina Saria Cardinals Farias. Esmeralda Gonzalez. Martha Ariana Martinez. Genesis Mora. Danielle Maria Alfaro. Carly Marie Herrera. Zulema Dante Perez. Megan Brianna Vargas. Ryan Dutra. Randy Camp. Kimberly Christmas. Justine Maderos. Paola Garcias. Claudia Alexandra Fernandez. Zoe Magania. Viviana Gomez. Ruben Romero. Brittany Lee Walls. Michael Sportsman. Stephanie A. Butler. Patricia Espinoza. Haley Marie Balangi. Kira Renee Lamb. Jasmine Marie Amayado. Rebecca Cortez. Alina Lua Crispin. Cynthia Estella Marcius. Claudio Ojeda. Madison Elizabeth Cook. Miguel Osiega.
Kylie Joy. Katie Brummer. Fifiana Lopez Garcia. <laughs> Megan Wright. Christopher Baxter. Lisette A. Andrade. Roxanne Nicole Zobiri. Kristen, I said, uh, Curtis Andrew Chisholm. Patrick Michael Vaca. Carlos Hayid Hernandez. You're right. Pilani Gary. Caitlin Gloria Mejia. Abigail Lauren Rowe. Carolyn Contreras. Valerie Perez Corpus. Margarita Reyes. Yvette Martinez. Daphne O'Connor. Celine Desiree Beltran. Chelsea O'Connell. Dion Allen Caraway. Mercedes Ramos. Stephanie Nicole Viriel. Gabriel Vasquez Salinas. Vanessa Diane Magana. Darlene Oliveria. Gabriela Chavez. Charvaria Vadana Scooby Bravo. Jessica Montalban Spears. Serena Alicia Ruiz. Anaya Pickens. Daniela Silva. Kylie Hayes. Marisol Martinez. Vanessa Ann Rodriguez. Celeste Chang. Sylvia Garcia. Nicole Rule Baldadrama. Hope Candace Torrio. Diana Ronegal. Caesar Renteria. Well, Engel Cabo. Vanessa Raquel Darwin. Amanda Sophias Alanis. 
Kiel Zhang. Stacy Halsey. Maria Garcia. Danielle Schilling. Andrea N. Clark. Leslie Latino Luna. Jennifer Magana. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Education. What's your name? Jesse Padilla. Maria Guadalupe Pacheco. Maria Guadalupe Pacheco. Margaret Montavo. Okay, here we go. We got the names here now. Renashia Sharp. Amelda Rodriguez. We congratulate the graduates of the School of Education. <laughs> Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Humanities, Religion, and Social Science. <laughs> Emily Renee Avias. Blanca Jacqueline Sanchez Iniguez. Violet Casores Macias. Clayton Matthew Moon. Danya Imelda Gonzalez. Adriana Luna. Alyssa May Hitman, Ethan Miles Wenter, Sabrina Banta, Laiba Fahim, Jarnail Singh Sandhu. Christopher C. Jefferson. 
Jessica Victoria Laura. Andrea Marie Verrett. Keisha Renee Turner. Elizabeth L. Craig. Erica Jaramillo. Andrea Nicole Palomar. Marbella Ochoa Lopez. Melissa Hernandez Lozano. Bronda L. Foster. Conoche Parker. Cassandra Amada Corobuyaras. Emily Elizabeth Serena Hernandez. Hannah Elise Light. Andrea Pineda Gonzalez. Goeya Elizabeth Jung. Catherine Ann Say. Elizabeth Ray Davis. Helen Flores Cueto. Emily Rose Hand. Anna Elizabeth Crumpy. Maribel Vary Aguilar. Shalom Anliza Mejia. Caden Bolton. Nicholas Aaron Portwood. Bradley Charles Salvador. Eric Stephen De Hasler. Brandon Joshua Chavez Moreno. Ethan Richard Trotter. Audrey Irene Bradford. Kristen Milligan. Casey Jerome Watkins Jr. Madeline Aaron Hernandez. Carmen Garcia Russell. Stephanie Tamez. Jocelyn Angelina Marquez. Eric Victor Ruiz. Harman Jot Singh Gill. Nate the Great, also known as Nathaniel A. Berry. Garrett Bernard Freer. Genesis Alyssa Gonzalez. Roxana Denise Navarro. Susana Sainz Benavides. Mario Ruiz Mercedes Avarica. Nicole Lynn Silva. Rodolfo Hara. 
Isaac Gonzalez. Isaiah Jordan Clark. Makena Alexis Ogis. Corinne Acosta. Valeria Camarillo Gutierrez. Ashley Sharda Sanchez. Joanna Leonor Blanco. Alyssa Christine Medina. Elizabeth Rosas. Jasmine Jasley Ortega. Melissa Jean Van Zant. Sarah Renee White. Raquel Fina Herrera. Brenda Gomez. Joe R. Mejia. Bernice Salvador. Candy Lopez. Gina Marie Rodriguez. Nansing Leng. Larissa Brienne Nevarez. Christopher Calderon. Victoria Leanne Ledizma Chavez. Anna Patricia Apodaca Voyai. LaShawn Latrice Fletcher. Sandra Pacheco. Carmela Lisa Fernandez. Anthony Escalante. Malanti Merrill Brogdon Jr. Valerie Olivia Perez. Bianca Arredondo. Christina Marie Myrick Schick. Heather Bennett. Gina Morales. Sabina Marie Aguirre. Sydney Alexa Sandoval. Rosa Maria Rodriguez Hernandez. Keisha Spain. Jared Thomas McCoy. Patricia Lynn Walker. Anne Marie Bautista. Yamelet Angelina G. Rubio. Rosa Maria Araiza. Archie Dupree Lee Copeland. Saul Perez. Brenda D. Alfaro. Lisette Davalos. Brianna Castillo Nieto. 
Angelus Vargas. Alondra Cortez Tapia. Maribel Sanchez Sanchez. Karina Gutierrez. Lisette Salgado. Heavenly Brienne Kinzer. Crystal Rosas Nunez. Dominique Michelle Munoz. Alyssa Nicole Avia. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Humanities, Religion, and Social Science. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Natural Sciences. Jeffrey Lawrence McFetrich. Marcos Garcia. Magdalena Ruth Raymer Winner. Luke Campbell Smith. Vinicius Eduardo Moltz. Brian Rafael Banulos. Talitha Eden Ortiz. Amy Nanette Barragan. Emily Acosta. Samel Messia. Selma Messia. Kimberly Ann Shaw. Montserrat Lisette Perez Gallardo. Naily A. Jimenez. Trenton James Green. Garrett Wade Cooper. Kevin Jalen Rodriguez. Nathan Marquise Daquan Brown. Ben Jugendblut. Denise Dare. Zara Zene Anthony. Melissa Munoz Rodriguez. Rachel Elizabeth Burke. Leslie Giselle. Virela Varela, Kaisa Dene Sunart, Samantha Allison Detterly, Anastasia Barlahoveva, Rosemary Jewel. Chapman, Chris Murtosh, Naomi Goto, Juliana Leon, Carly Ruiz Corrales. Isaiah Josiah Embritz. 
Calvin Albert Abbott. Dexter John Cadiz. Alejandro Rene Mendibles. Antonio Angel Lepe. Santos Rahul Rivas. Erica Garcia. We congratulate the congratulates in the School of Natural Sciences. Will the candidates for the Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Divinity please stand? President Stevens, on behalf of the faculty of Fresno Pacific University, I am pleased to present these women and men. They have completed intensive graduate studies and have demonstrated their mastery of advanced areas of specialized knowledge. They are prepared to serve both God and humanity in this world. I present them to you as worthy candidates for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Business Administration, and Master of Divinity. Thank you, Provost Hughes. By virtue of the authority vested in me as president by the Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the faculty who have taught you, evaluated you, and modeled the Christian faith for you, I confer upon you, each of you the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Science, Master of Business Administration and Master of Divinity as appropriate to your programs of study with all its privileges and obligations. Graduates be seated. And I am going to just go backwards one step to say bachelor degree candidates, you can move your tassel. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Business. Priscilla Pignon. Laura Lynn Davis. Sana Josephine Joanna Antonias Ruhl. Elizabeth Garza. Jessica Valentina Leon. Elizabeth Hannah Lopez. Karina Marie Torres. Danette Barrios. Alexis Marie Cuevado Villalobos. Gabriel Collins. Nina Elizabeth Gomez. Darren Pearson Jr. Sean Nilon Lino. Daryl Lee Watson.
Alyssa Suzanne Montelango. Raina Janelle Harris. Rachel Berry. Marissa Gray Jensen. Christina Koble. Tiana Juanita Richard. Jocelyn Annette Castaneros. Elbio David Carballo. Leonard Paul Abbott. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Business. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Education. Alina Alcalanta. Carolina Sevilla Enriquez. Madison Faith Church. Samantha Marie Diaz. Anna Margarita Bellinger. Christina Marie Servin. Ashton Joel Nunez. Alicia Diaz. Paola Santana Marie, uh, Ramirez. Rosselle Ann Umbad. Seda Potris. Ashley Kate BC. Taylor Nicole Kruger. Sabrina Marie Sandoval. Madison Pierce. Rebecca Stites. Haley. Rose Wilcox. Jennifer Victoria Melvin. Melinda Ryan Horton. Russellinda Mendoza. Anna Marie C. Fernandez. Alyssa K. Gargis. Stacy Dawn Day. Stacy Ahura. Angela Paris. Marissa Ann Casillas. Junelli Cerda. Alicia Garcia Vasquez. Joanna Valencia. Samantha Taylor Frottis. Arledia Esquelba.
Crystal Lee Tevinger. Brianna Pearson. Rosella Govia. Sydney S. Quintiero. Arsuli Duran. Andrea Gamboa. Daisy Edith Contreras. Juliana Overa. Kelsey Severson. Bailey Lynn Talbot. Thomas Banducci. Christina Sanchez Romero. Hildy Del Carmen Osorio. Michelle Leanne Hardy. Tabitha Johnson. Brittany Danielle. Walter Earl Oliver. Vanessa, Vanessa Del Luna. Jorge Luis Panita. Serena Rodriguez. Evuni Raquel Torres. Daisy Fuentes Aranda. Carol Pham. Annette Medrano Amaro. Vanessa, Vanessa Perez. Kayla Nicole Schoolcraft. Tanya F. Jennings Whittington. Annabelle Joaquin Ramirez. Nita Angelica Galvin. Amber Callender. Anna Marie Rico Osorio. Duty Moreno. Jasmine Birondo Landeros. And Harry Marquin. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Education. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidate from the School of Humanities, Religion, and Social Science, Michael Alfred Kenneth Soria. We congratulate the graduate in the School of Humanities, Religion, and Social Science. Good job, Michael. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the School of Natural Sciences. Michael Sean Ruckard. Let's read in a different order. <laughs> Jennifer Anita Torrey. 
Eduardo. Hmm. Melissa Mendoza. Eduardo Ramon Vargas de Leon. Ray Cervantes. And Ryan Christopher Laro. We congratulate the graduates in the School of Natural Sciences. Mr. President and Madam Provost, I present to you the candidates from the Biblical Seminary. Grant Davis. Crystal Rose Shipley Gutierrez. Seth Adam Jordan. Los Tongson Moanu Toa. Nicole Lynette Alvernas. Esther Torres. Lucia Gloribel Hernandez Carrillo. Hope Obermiller. Alyssa Renee Ballas. Lisa Marie Basil. Carrie Ann Maderos. Maria Elena Nunes. Jessica Marilyn Renner. Bethany Sarah Penner Kikonal. Emily Gabriel Rodriguez. Monica Gutierrez. Christina Palacios Gomez. Eileen Rodriguez. Andrea Marie Rupert. Matthew Moorhead. And with two degrees, Mitchell Aaron Ross. We congratulate the graduates in the Biblical Seminary. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023.
And to close our ceremony with a benediction, Dr. Tim Getter. I will be asking you to stand in just a minute, so you might as well stay standing. Graduates, at the end of the ceremony, you will be exiting here down the center aisle, and then the line will split in two directions. Those of you on my left will be exiting through the northwest door. Those on my right will be exiting here on the northeast door. As you leave the arena, you will be given your FPU license plate frame. Guests, we're requesting guests that you please do not come down on the floor, but rather meet your graduates outside at the north end of the arena where you came in this morning. Now at this time, I'd like to ask everyone else to stand, please. After I have the closing benediction, please remain standing for a few minutes. Gentlemen, you may remove your caps. Please receive this benediction from Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> Platform party and faculty and grads, would you remain standing, please, for the recessional? Guests, you are now invited to be seated again.